Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about Uber Eats. I'm sure many of you have used Uber, know what Uber is, and most of you probably know what Uber Eats is. It's a food delivery service uh, that has been very popular, especially during this pandemic, uh, where people are social distancing, not wanting to leave their homes. And we're just going to talk about some recent changes with Uber Eats. Uh, so, obviously, it's grown a lot over the last couple years. If you guys are like this video, I can do a breakdown of what their business model is. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting, especially where they started to where they are now, Uber and Uber Eats. But Uber Eats has been pretty good. I've been using it a lot. And one of the features that I liked about it was they had this free kind of curated free delivery service, which is great because normally deliveries cost about a dollar to three dollars, sometimes more, sometimes four or five, depending on, you know, restaurant. Then there's other taxes and service fees onto that. So, you know, if you're going to get something, just be aware um, what the total price would be. Like you might see the food cost 10 or 14 dollars, but it might end up being 25 or 30 when you're all said and done. Um, and there's also benefits and everything like that. But recently, that menu I was talking about, that free delivery rotation, that has disappeared. It is no longer to be found. Um, as of about over a week ago, and this has been, so I've done a little digging. Uber has not really commented on it. Um, so I think it varies by user, probably varies by city or location. Um, and I think what they've ultimately done, they've, they've ultimately decided to, to remove it in favor of this Uber Eats Pass, which depending on how much you're you know, Uber eating a month is not a bad deal. So like $10 a month, you get the $0 delivery fee, 5% off in orders, $15 or more. Um, and other benefits that would apply to different restaurants so not a bad deal not I'm not as big as signing up to all these monthly subscriptions it seems like every streaming service or every kind of good deal is like a subscription then if you sign up for too much that those costs add up but if you're if you're still social distancing a lot which which you should be if we're being honest um, and you're you know not cooking if you want to get that takeout food then Uber Eats is still a pretty good bet um, I can do a, another video on Postmates or Grubhub or whatever. I mean, the, technically, technically, some of those other services do predate Uber Eats. But um, as an Uber as an Uber user, I just switched over to Uber Eats. Um, uh, I guess a few years back. I don't know, one or two years ago. It hasn't been bad. So if you're like me and you're wondering, hey, where did your your free your curated uh, Uber Eats menu go. So, what normally happens is you're given you're given an option uh, of like a number of restaurants for ten to fifteen minutes, and then that would go away. Uh, and a new option, new seven or eight or nine options of free deliveries would pop up, and these free deliveries would be from people who recently ordered. So it would be, it's like Uber pool except for food. So drivers will be ride sharing uh, your delivery. Like, so ride, Uber drivers who are already picking up food for a restaurant would pick up another order and deliver it to someone ideally close by or within, I don't know, like a, another 15 minute drive or 10 minute drive. It, nothing crazy out of the way. Um, so it helps with local deliveries. I think it's nice supporting local restaurants. Better, thing, better for the environment. I know it's not always great for delivery drivers, especially if you're doing like um, delivery by the door, which is where you, the Uber driver just comes, leaves the food by the door, knocks, takes a picture, and, and leaves. So there's no there's no face to face, there's no contact. I know that might slow some people out, especially if it's like any big big apartment complex or anything like that. But that's all. Let me know what you think. If you're an Uber driver or anything like that, I definitely want to know your thoughts. And if you're just an Uber user, let me know your thoughts. I hope this helps you out because I know there were some people with questions about this. But um, And also, try out ePass. Let me know if you're Uber eating a lot. Like, if you're Uber eating five times a month, ten times a month, that, that's a lot. But, hey, 
No judgment. If you're doing that, let me know. All right. Take it easy.